For 38 years, good folks in Cheyenne have been marching in honor of the late Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Dr. King was the most visible leader in the Civil Rights Movement from 1955 to his assassination on April 4, 1968, in Memphis, Tennessee. On Monday, to celebrate the King holiday, about 300 folks marched again up Capitol Avenue to the state capitol. What does this mean? You know, everything. You know, the dream of all of uh, us coming together, particularly at a time, again, when a nation is so divided. We're still fighting. We've moved, but we haven't moved far enough. We have a lot of work to do, and we can't stop until it's done. Looking at today's event, and seeing everyone come together in such a large crowd, I do believe that we are more together than we are divided in spite of what other people may want us to believe. The guest speaker was a Reverend Warnell Brooks. Brooks now lives in the California Bay Area, but grew up here in Cheyenne and attended Central High and UW. It's not just about color. It's about injustice and trying to make a better life for everyone who lives in this world. He said in one of his speeches, we all might have arrived here on different ships, but guess what? We all in the same boat. Former state senator, the late Liz Byrd, was a driving force to get the state of Wyoming to celebrate the King holiday. Liz was the first black woman to serve in the Wyoming state legislature. It took nine times and a compromise to get the legislature to approve Martin Luther King Jr. Wyoming Equality Day. Cowboy State Daily asked her son, former state representative Jim Bird, why his mom didn't give up on a King holiday. Mother, you would have had to live with that lady to understand tenacity. When she sees something that's wrong, that she believes that she can fix or she can at least help affect a change on that, uh, she is going to be all over that and she's going to be relentless. In Wyoming, as well as this great nation, the dream lives on. Robert Jihad, Cowboy State Daily. Victory.